Hey everyone, this is Pretty Hugger Asia Rave, and I'm here with my reaction review of RuPaul's Drag Race season number 14, episode number 5. You know, a little like a uh, guitar. You know, like you never know what's gonna yeah. happen. <laughs> Girls, wait, wait, wait. Huh? Where's Cornbread? Huh? Yeah! Where's Cornbread? Yeah, where's Cornbread? A surprise? What is going on? Or something? Hey, dolls. Oh. RuPaul walks out and. Oh no. Going Did on. she got infected or something? As you may have noticed, Cornbread isn't here today. Uh huh. She wanted to share this message with you. Oh, what happened? Hey girls, so you're probably wondering she why fell I'm ill? here. During last week's challenge, the acting challenge, I rolled my ankle and when I went home and I went to sleep, I woke up in excruciating pain. Really? And my ankle really? was swollen. I saw a doctor and the doctor gave uh -huh. orders to stay off of my feet for six to eight weeks. Another queen with an ankle injury. For me in season 14. Oh my God. She was supposed to be at the top. I'm godsmacked. Oh. I had no idea Cornbread had an injury last week. I really feel Why? devastated. Miss Carrie, keep fighting. Oh, oh no. no. You are, and you can be a monster she really girl. was a front runner. As far as the fandom was concerned. Throw them down flip flops in the trash. I, sh I hope she's asked to come back as much for as season 15. Come on, Rue. Don't worry, baby. In Seattle, we call this the space noodle. Oh! Okay, one, one press. Also, you're on the green team. Up next, Jasmine Kennedy. Oh, okay. Oh my god, you got it all over his back. Up next, Jason Sky. Come on, Deja. Push back. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that's the definition of a power bottle. Thank <laughs> you, Deja. You are orange. Fight up next. Oh, Betty! Betty! <laughs> Both of them are straight. for Georges. Like, well, I'm only like 16, and they're like, 
okay, well, we have to talk to the manager mm. about that. And they were like, hey, you can perform, but your parents had to be there. So I was like, uh, I had to ask my parents to see if they would let me in. They were a little iffy about it at first, but they were like, we're going to support you. So support they let me perform. Good the for Jarvis. I performed, like, legit on my family, like, mm. came over mm. and, like, everything. Mm. When, if, if you don't know me asking, because I know you have your medical situations, when did a lot of that start happening? Yeah. So that was like since birth, I was tested immediately because my eldest sister, Elizabeth, who's eight years older, has stenosis as well. Mm. Oh, so it's always, mm -hmm. it's always, mm -hmm. it's, I had a transplant when I was uh, 15 years old. My brother gave me his kidney. Uh -huh. And now I'm dealing with like all my muscles are starting to atrophy. It sucks being 26 years old and feeling like... Oh, Willow. Like, you feel like it's like this, like, decline from here. And it's like you just getting started. Yeah, it's like I'm supposed to be in, like, my prime. And I feel like my body is, like, disintegrating. Willow. I felt this deep, deep need to get on Drag Race to, like, make my statement, to make my stand. Because I didn't want to get lost, like, get forgot forgotten. You've managed to like turn. Yeah, you you made a name for yourself. Thing like mm -hmm. like yeah like are you Willow P or mm -hmm. girl like from spring from Georgia. Oh, she's got a little spring in her step. Oh, <laughs> I'm you my but yeah, Georgia was having trouble when while when, when they were filming their commercial their BSA. But this is amazing. Oh, giving us something different. I, I don't like the bottom. Alien, I don't like the bottom. Like the green, but the material could have been different. Oh! The top? The top's not doing it for me. Oh, an Easter bunny. I like the details on the blouse, but that's about it. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, Stormy Dead. Oh. <laughs> I feel like when a lot of people think of spring, they uh -huh. think very like pastels. A different day of spring. Fun and playful, but I'm Mother Nature, mm -hmm. and I'm here to be oh. lucky charms. I would wear those. Oh, this is amazing. I decided to bring. This is gorgeous. Beaded and stone corset mm -hmm. that I made all. Wow, quite an ID. Oh, another Easter bunny. When I think of spring, I huh. really think of bunnies, so I am But yeah, Ryan was having a lot of trouble during uh, the filming too. Oh! Putting the home in homosexual. This is my little house on the ferry. Oh, okay. There's pastel houses, mm -hmm. fresh mm -hmm. grass on their lawn, there's flowers in the windowsills. It's cute, and then it's cute. Out, it says, help and good. <laughs> I feel like, oh. Joey Heatherton. Ooh, ooh, nice. Around, like the I like the butterflies. Butterfly I like the structure. And then a yeah. Circling around mm -hmm. me and I have to make sure to shoot away because it's Also, these are like elf, elf ears. Oh, hmm. I knew she was into teabagging. <laughs> Okay. That honestly was inspired by my grandmother's tablecloth. There could have been more on the table. Oh, oh. she's spilling the tea. Mm -hmm. Oh. There's a storm of ruins. Similar to Maddie. I'm pumping down the runway in my lovely huh. clouds. My legs are glistening like huh. gas station hot dogs. We get to the end oh. and I tear down oh. the storm cloud to reveal a full sunny day ball gown. Mm -hmm. Enter little Miss Sunshine. Turning queen. Oh, okay. They're doing the run with you. Nice. I'm ready for my close-up, Miss Charles. But it's Never not her team, right? That she's keeping that <laughs> kind of like I like like uh, Aphrodite. Oh, oh, Kimora. Desert edition. I am wearing a vintage Maggie Spring Summer 2000. Yeah, of course. Of course, she looks gorgeous. I actually like this uh, challenge. I would like this challenge to continue. Bringing back uh, older, or not older, basically the past three. Oh, they send her off to shady. The cat in a hat who got told 
she was old by a whole beard of rat. She had things to say, cause the bitch was so wet. He said, man, she's old and saggy like rotten fruit. Oh. I guess it wasn't just that new body suit. <laughs> Tempest to show people face. say that she's done. She's so old, her social security number is one. If she were to fall. What's that bitch name again? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> She could compete with these bitches. She came in with whimsy, puppets and toe. Uh -huh. But her little friend couldn't help her. The bitch had to go. <laughs> the queens were challenged to bring a mascara. Uh -huh. But Jane showed up in little Volcaca. She tried her best. It's just a paycheck. Oh, Orion. In her bathroom was Orion's in trouble. But likes and subscribes, that'll pay for shit. Mm -hmm. So she came in first place. So scouring the streets for secondhand wigs. So please throw a penny at this busted ass pig. <laughs> she doesn't mean much. Jet, she's a star, but she's back to tip spots at her local bar. <laughs> Every queen has their day, but there was just one line she couldn't quite say. She said, I was rooting for a flash, so reach into your pockets and give her some fucking cash. Mm. <laughs> Did you know that some drag queens a drag queen develops elephantitis in her earlobes. Somewhere, right now, there's a poor little drag queen crying and untucked because, well, she's safe again this week. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> them to sleep. For good. Oh! You can sponsor a drag queen like Kamora mm -hmm. by donating a sensible 74 cents. <laughs> that way she can buy a fucking watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sharon Oh! This is wrong on so many levels. <laughs> Deja Sky. Deja Sky. Metamorphosis. Will a pill. Safe. Diabetic. Safe. Ladies, you are all safe. And you shined. Uh huh. Congratulations, you are the winner of this week's challenge. Good for Bosco. Bosco really wanted to get on the board. Thank you. you yeah. Good for you, Bosco. My Head and My Heart by Ava Max, which makes sense. Oh, Jordan is getting ready to do something. Uh huh. I, yeah, Orion's done. I will be very surprised if I, yeah, yeah. Very surprised if Orion wins. Or should I go? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Georges, if Georges is to lose. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Georges! Oh, egg! Mm -hmm. Yeah, Georges. Georges the winner. Or, oh no. Really? Really, Orion? The shoes? I think Orion even knows that Orion's gonna win. Yeah, I mean it's more ob obvious that George is going to stay. George just knows how to work the stage during a performance. Your fate now rests it would be very interesting to see how George just does on a slow song that's very low energy and more emotive. And it's chocolate. It's chocolate. Right. So Orion got eliminated Today is twice. <laughs> So that was RuPaul's Drag Race season number 14, episode number 5, Orion got sent home because Gorgeous, jo not Gorgeous, Georges, Georges killed it. So yeah, I am still very disappointed that Cornbread won't be able to compete. I really hope Cornbread comes back for season 15. Like, Cornbread was supposed to be the front runner, but with Cornbread gone, some other queens do have a chance to get to the top. So let's see what happens, how all of that plays out. But yeah, let me know what you thought down in the comment section below. Until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. See you guys later.